Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's the 26th of August, 2024. We're here to talk about DraftKings and why I'm predicting maybe a big move is going to occur in this particular stock. What direction? Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. But before I do, welcome to the channel, those who are new. This is what I do. I come through and I drop price predictions without any confusion. I don't add any news to it. I don't try to place fundamental analysis to try to establish a price range to where the market should be trading. Because then you always need to ask yourself the question, okay, why isn't it trading at that price then if this is what fundamental analysis is stating? Hence, that's where you get the opportunity from. So we focus in on what people are trying to do. That is where majority of our edge is going to occur. So if you guys want to join me, hit that like button. Should have been also subscribe here for more of this content. Because check this out. I did a price prediction in DraftKings right here. Around April, mid-April 2024. And I was probably the only one stating that DraftKings was pretty weak. And I was looking for the market to go down in price. And that is exactly what it did. From April the 18th all the way until May 28th. You guys can see 10.62% right there. Now, zooming out. Look at how low the market actually went in DraftKings. It came all the way down here to $28.70, 31.06%. If you was able to catch that move, kudos, congratulations, because we did have this buy zone right here in DraftKings, but the buyers didn't hold, didn't hold it. And then the market came all the way down to our next buy zone. So. For us to see price come all the way down to 30 bucks, I'm not surprised because we already established that we would want to see buyers at that range. Okay, and for the most part, the buyers didn't even hold that area neither. So we could get rid of that buy zone. We could get rid of this buy zone. Let's get rid of this price prediction. And the next thing we could get rid of is this trend. Yes, DraftKings back in the beginning of the year was trending. It was on a very strong bullish run but guess what that's broken now we can actually create instead of us creating a ascending line we can create guess what a downtrend that's right the market here in DraftKings is now trending down okay so if you look at people who are creating content and all they say is that the market is strong the market is going to go up by the dip it's going to shoot up to the moon they need to come and look at the chart because the chart is telling us something different in DraftKings. I don't know what to tell you. Everything doesn't go up into perpetuity forever. So maybe we might just see the market in DraftKings run to $38.75, $40 and then come back down. If it happens, you won't be surprised because I've already told you about it. Right? Now, let's take a look first in DraftKings on the wiki chart because right here, you can see that we are hearing or nearing some sell zones. This is a very strong sell zone right here that we talked about on our prior video. $48.25. That is why the price in DraftKings topped out there. Again, we already had this location on our charts. So we shouldn't be caught off guard and say, well, why did the market in DraftKings go down? Well, we already knew it because we haven't seen the market in DraftKings trade at $48, $50 ever since 2021. Yes, almost three years ago. Okay. Now, you guys can see here on the wiki chart, we're trying to make some room on some lost ground on this market move to the downside. That's cool. No problem. Here it is on the two weeks. Look at this. We got this sell signal on the prior two weeks price bar which was on July 29, 2024. Now it's coming right back up. Okay. But let's not get tricked and think that we're going to hit $50 though. We have a downtrend intact now. The buyers would need to break this downtrend before we begin to say yes. We may see the market run back up to $50, $48 or so. We're not seeing that yet. Here it's only three weeks. Okay, so here's a pretty good buy zone right here too. For DraftKings, I like that one. Okay, here it is on the monthly chart. Here it is on the five day chart. Just doing a quick look, different time frames give us a different picture as to how the market is feeling. 
Okay. Here it is on the three. And let's go and look at this on the two day time frame. Back on the daily, here it is on the seven hour. Just want to create a buy zone here on the seven hour chart. Okay. So now let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to show you sell zones. Here's one. Meaning that if we anticipate higher prices, right? We want to anticipate sellers to come to this area and try to put the price down. Okay, that's one area. Here's another area. And here's a third one. This is a bigger one right here. Okay. So now we're going to anticipate some higher prices in DraftKings. Okay. Now, here are our targets. I got to keep it real. It's not a lot because the price is already at this sell zone. When we see price nearing zones, you got to expect the opposite to occur. So we're seeing the market go higher, but we're about to hit this sell zone. So I would be expecting price to begin to come down. Hopefully it won't go that far and then the buyers will come back through, break through that first initial sell zone and then try to hit the second one. Okay. But yeah, one of these two sell zones may be the one that will actually push DraftKings back down in line with this downtrend line. Okay. Let me get rid of this sell zone up here around 50. All right. So. That's kind of what I'm expecting to occur in DraftKings is for it to come to this downtrend line and get rejected, come back down. So either it's going to be at this first sales on the second one is what I'm kind of looking at uh, right now. So yeah, as of right now, don't be surprised if the market begins to go lower. Just, just don't do it. Because we've been in a very a decent trend ever since August the 13th. And here it is, the 26th. DraftKings is already up 24%. So this may actually be the high right now. And I'm actually doing a video looking for it to go higher. But we'll see what happens. All right, I'm done. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain profit and I will see you guys on the next video.